Test yourself, the headline reads. How panic-proof are you? The two-page self-test in the popular Collier's magazine in 1953 asks, how do you feel when, one, you are alone and your doorbell and telephone ring simultaneously? Check one. I'm not bothered. I become tense. I blow up. Set an alarm clock ringing continuously on the table near you. Time yourself on this test. How long does it take you to place a dot at the center of each of the zeros below? 360 tiny zeros are drawn beneath. If your final score is under 50, you are a panic-prone individual. From 70 to 90, you're panic-resistant, and above 90, you're as close to being panic-proof as a human can be. The self-test is part of a longer feature article titled Panic, the Ultimate Weapon, written by the director of the FCDA. Noting that we, the citizens of the strongest nation on Earth, are also the most panic-prone, the director reports on recent panic research, including animal experiments involving the application of 70,000 volts of harmless but spectacular high-frequency electricity to a laboratory mouse, exciting inch-long blue sparks from each hair on its body. Most mice, although not physically injured, go mad from the experiments. This is an official civil defense film produced in cooperation with the Federal Civil Defense Administration and in consultation with the safety Now, of the we nation. must be ready for a new danger, the atomic bomb. Although unclear how these findings might apply to humans, tests have shown that the cowboy of the Western High Plains is unusually impervious to panic, due perhaps to the calm woven into life in vast, lonely spaces. And tell me, my lonesome cowboy, Whatever do you think they did with the mice who went mad? More tests? On the temperature, the transient electrochemical states, the neural architectures of wild bewilderment, of dumb, live-wired animal intelligence, electrified beyond a safe return by the harmless, if spectacular, blue jolt of scientific inquiry. And where are you now, my sweet cowboy? With calm arms outstretched, can you hold me, trembling, here in this place? I'm caught here, in this abstract place of panic proneness, in the vast, lonely spaces of this continuously timed self-test that I'm failing, drawing a dot in the center of 360 tiny circles with an alarm clock sounding endlessly on the table nearby while somebody's knocking at that door as the telephone starts ringing. And I tell you, my darling, I am feeling a little tense. Bomb explodes. You will know when it comes. We hope it never comes, but we must get ready.